and diversity and inclusion really has been key in developing and driving that growth. Uh, and being accepting not only of our employees or, but our customers as well has helped us really uh, increase our presence in the marketplace. So it, uh, it's not a business thing, but it's something that if you really believe in it, and it's not just a campaign, like, hey, yeah, yeah. I support, I participate in Pride. It's something that we live, we have the benefits for our employees. But we do know that we do attract uh, more people of different communities. But not only uh, of the Pride Allies, or sorry, Pride Network or the LGBT community, but we also support, like recently, I, I think maybe the past two to three years, it has really become a program uh, in which T-Mobile supports different kinds of minorities. Not only uh, the, 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 the gay, lesbian, mm -hmm. LGBT community, but also uh, multi-generational, multicultural. Uh, we have uh, disabilities. But we have these programs that really support our employees, uh, not only in the workplace, but to help drive that commitment and that message. Hi, my name is Miguel Rojas. Uh, I'm a customer care manager here in Timo, Puerto Rico. I've been with the company for 12 years. Yeah, I'm also, in addition to be a manager for customer care, uh, I voluntarily uh, work all initiatives related to diversity and inclusion for the Puerto Rico market. Um, T-Mobile, as a company, have uh, 50 chapters around the nation. Um, each chapter is in charge of the development of initiative uh, regarding the six different networks that we have in, in the company. So, in terms of achievements, um, my role actually for the Puerto Rico chapter is the, the leader for the, for the chapter. I work along with um, almost 16 employees, uh, volunteers, uh, in different areas uh, and roles for the chapters. And our biggest achievement, it was last year, uh, we increased the participation of uh, em employees. Uh, it was at the beginning of the year, only 7% of the employees were registered in the diversity and inclusion initiative. By the end of the year, 41% of the employees in the Puerto Rico market were registered in initiative for D uh, DNI. Oh, wow. I feel so empowered. Although things and opportunity that the company gave us, not only in Puerto Rico, along with uh, the partnership that we have with the states. Uh, it makes me feel so happy and myself. Um, since day one, um, when I started my, uh, my career in T-Mobile, I always felt that I could be myself. Um, I kind of consider myself a little bit uh, one of the luckiest ones, um, because since the day one that I identified myself as a gay, um, person or man, mm -hmm. um, everyone around me has supported me. So I always felt the way that I could be myself in everywhere that I have been. Um, but here in Timo, I don't know why it's felt so different because it's not about the label or the identity, it's more about yourself. Mm. So I left, and not too long after that, my phone was shut off. Mind you, I was paying for my phone bill, but it was under my parents' name, you know, because I got a phone when I was like 16. And so I didn't have a phone when they shut it off. I was under Verizon, and so I went to the mall, to the Verizon store, and I was explaining the situation to the gentleman, and he was very just not helpful at all. And aside from that, he was kind of like laughing under his breath, and then the, the coworkers behind him just very uncomfortable, they made me very uncomfortable. And so I just left, I was like, I, don't, I guess I don't need a phone, whatever. I did need a phone, and <laughs> I was leaving. And there was a T-Mobile store, and they were playing Sam Smith, which was like, my favorite artist, and also he's, he's a gay artist too, and he's out, and I was like, that's really cool. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in there and see, you know, maybe they're nice enough. And this lady started helping me, like immediately, I walked in and started looking at the phones and she came right up, she was like smiling and just super nice. And I explained to her the situation, she was like, let's look over all the payment options for you, like, she just wanted to help me. And that's really what I needed. Mm -hmm. And it came time to scan, like, my ID. Mm -hmm. So I gave it to her, but I was like kind of self-conscious even though I was not yet on hormones, like I still looked female, like inside of me, I feel like I'm a male, 
And when I gave it to her, she just kind of like smiled at me. I can't explain it any other way. She just smiled super nice. And I felt comfortable in that moment to say, hey, do you mind using male pronouns with me? And she didn't react like most people. She didn't bat an eye. She was like, of course. And the rest of the time, she respected my pronouns as male pronouns. And she was one of the first people in my life to ever to ever use male pronouns with me. I don't even think she she may not realize like that she did that for me. And you know what I learned through that whole process is it's the atmosphere that creates, you know, someone to be comfortable enough to share their story with you or share things about them. And T Mobile did that for me. Like they're one of the first people that ever did that for me. Simple. I think it's definitely like, a good chunk of advice definitely would again be to connect with your local LGBT um, center just to kind of have a home base for things like the work environment because they can help protect you legally and you need to know your rights if you don't know your rights how are you supposed to protect yourself you know so maybe going to a center that can say hey these are your rights that you have in this state so that when you go into your work environment and you go to tell your boss or your people you work with you know, this is my decision, this is what I'm doing, you know what they can and cannot do, you know? Mm -hmm. um, as far as harassment and things in the workplace, you need to be able to protect yourself. Um, and for people like us, you you have to be your own best friend, especially in situations like that. Okay, so we'd like to invite everybody to join us in Pride. This will be, this will be our, four, our fourth consecutive year that T-Mobile as a company uh, represents uh, as representation in the march. We start in Parque del Indio, all the way through the Ashford Avenue through Parque del Tercer Milenio, or Cambrón. Uh, and we were the first company four years ago to be present as a brand marching in the parade. There have been many other sponsors, but more commercial and doing sampling, etc. So after us, the next year we saw more companies. The third year we, there were other companies, hey, can we partner with you? So we feel very proud that we have been paving the way uh, in showing support uh, because it helps. It helps. Once you start, everybody starts following you. Uh, I want to tell everyone who is maybe like me, going through something similar or just questioning themselves that you are worth all the love in the world, that it's okay to be different. Um, it's a great thing to be different. It's a great thing to be who you are and not a lot of people in this world are they ever get to be who they are because they're maybe too scared or they maybe you know aren't ready and i think it's amazing younger and younger people are realizing who they are and that is something to be proud of you are something to be proud of